Welcome back to Starcast TV and I am Scan. And today we're going to cast a fabulous game between Bisu versus uh, Queen. Queen versus Bisu. And spawning location in the top right corner of the purple Zerg. This is Queen. And he's also known as Zero. And the other, si other side of the player, uh, yellow, yellow Prados, this is gonna be Bisu. And the uh, matchup we're going to be, we're going to be, uh, watched is gonna be Prados vs Zerg. And now Bisu is making a pile on at the natural. Looks like he's one, he's gonna be going for either. Uh, Nexus first, or Forge first, or Gateway first, but let's see which decision he will be making. Okay, he's making extra probe. He he returned, he returned one of the probe, but he's making extra probe. Looks like he's gonna gamble. He's making a, extra probe. Three probe on the way. Looks like this is gonna be the 12 Nexus by Bisu. And at the same time, Zero is also going for the hatchery first. And when you play for Zerg vs. Prados matchup, you do not go for 12 battery because if you go for 12 battery, your spawning pool will get delayed, everything will get delayed, and you won't be able to defend against the Zealot Genshin in the beginning. So therefore, the Zerg players has made a decision that sacrificing one of the one of the larvae, not make not spending it, so they can immediately have the 11 spawning pool with the 10. 10 spawning, uh, uh, what am I saying? 11 hatchery into 10 spawning pool. And yes, we are gonna see 12, 12 Nexus. And finally, Bisu is gonna go for the scout. It's gonna be scouting towards to 7 o'clock and Forge. When you go for the Nexus first, you do not go for Nexus into a gateway. You go for Nexus, Forge, and a gateway. And the reason for that is if Zerg goes for Overpool, the Zerglings are just too quick. Okay, now it looks like Bisu is gonna do two probe scout. Just scouting. Uh, the first scout scout at the 7 o'clock, making sure. Making sure uh, the zero queen is not at 7 o'clock. And at the same time, and there's gonna be the pro probe and the drone, Michael. And I thought it wasn't gonna be that intense, but I caught on time. I saw that probe was on a red HP, drone was also on red, red HP. And. Queen was was having way too confident doing that drone micro, and there you go. He lost his he he lost his drone. He could have saved that drone and went back to his main base and start mining more mineral, but he he was he was way too confident. He probably thought that he would be able to kill this probe, but he lost. And this is gonna be. 3 hatchery and he also knows Queen also knows that this is a 12 nexus and no zealot so far so that's why he only has made two two zerglings they're on the way with the third hatchery also at the 12 o'clock normally if you go for three hatchery either you go for three o'clock expansion or the mineral expansion whether what, what, uh, what depending on where Prados is located at if Prados is located at 5 o'clock, you normally you go for the mineral expansion. But if, if Prados was located at 11 o'clock, you cannot take this mineral expansion because the distance is just too close. So you take for a 3 o'clock expansion. But so uh, Queen wants to take this 12 o'clock expansion. The 12, 12 o'clock expansion has extra mineral field, has 7 with the Vespin Geyser, which is a good thing. And the probe return to the main and now it looks like there's gonna be a gate halfway done. Classic opening by both players. Lair with the spire. Metabolic boost is on the way. Couple of uh, Zerglings are being made. Six Zerglings against uh one Zealot. And Bisu, yes! Like I said earlier, Bisu probably assume Queen would take this mineral expansion. That's why his zealot 
His other uh, direction was to was towards to Minor Expansion, but his guess was wrong. He has taken for the 12 o'clock. It looks like Bisu really needs to... Uh, he, he, he really wants to confirm what, where the hatchery is. Either at 12 o'clock or classic game where uh, the old meta where you go for another uh, another spawning location hatchery like 11 o'clock the old meta I think that's what he wanted to do but there's a second Zelda scout but he got caught by the overlord so he won't be able to do it and with the one single Corsair is gonna be getting all the information done he probably saw this spire yes he yes he did he made a he made a triangle shape he, he was going to side of a main base and then he turned and where'd it go? Oh, he wants to, he wants to find that overlord. Yeah, yes, he will. He wants to pick up the one of the overlord at the at the center. And I think he will. Now Queen has the two scourge, but I don't think these two scourge will able to pick up this corsairs. And Queen is also looking for the zealot. He definitely know, he definitely knows that a uh, zealot is still on the on the map. And he wants to deny all the information that Beast wants to have. And this is gonna be two gateway into Zala Speed, Corsair, and then plus one attack. Corsair plus one attack. Now Beast has four Corsair and five Corsairs on the way. And I think Beast will move out. The normal time. The time when uh, Prada starts to move out is the time when Prada has six Corsairs, six Corsairs with the uh, plus one attack and a Zealot. But before the plus one attack finishes, since he has the Zealot speed has has been finished, he wants to get some information done. Now he's separating separating couple of the Zealot, dividing into half, five Zealot in five Zealot on the left and three Zealot on the right. And it looks like five Corsair with a plus one attack, and now the six Corsair is also on the way. But since Beast has the plus one attack with the five Corsair, he is confident enough to move forward. And the uh, Corsair, yes, six Corsairs, six Corsairs. This is the standard. Normally, you start moving out with six Corsairs, but Beast, since Beast started with the twelve Nexus, he has a lot of bank. He has a lot of uh, equal advantage, that's why he started to move out with 5 Corsairs with a couple of the Zelda speed. And now he's making more of a uh, cannons at the front. I think he, he, he I think he definitely knows this this is gonna be 5 hatchery 5 hatchery hydra. Normally you go for 6 hatchery, 6 hatchery, but since he confirmed that there's no 6 hatchery, that means what where did Queen span? That 300 mineral for more hydralis or quicker hydralis, and that's why Bisu has made more cannons. He needs to defend against this five hatchery, five hatchery hydralisk. And yes, Bisu is making more, making more uh, army, a couple of high templars, and these eight zealots are moving around the map, buying some time, not not letting hydralis to come. Right front of our Prada's natural. This is the important key. And like I said, once you get a plus one attack with the six force here, you move around and try to get some information and also press and you start making uh, more corsairs because Prados needs a lot of Vesping gas to Swap their army into High Templar and making a robotic facility with the gun range upgrade and more gateways. Yes, this is gonna be the six six into eight gateways. In the old days you go for four gateway into three base, but nowadays you really cannot because Zerg players really like to go for aggression and they will just immediately execute you if you go for 4 gateway into expansion so therefore Protoss likes to go for 8 gateways and massive amount of 
massive amount of Zealot with a plus one attack for High Templar and six Corsairs on the way. And he will be picking up a couple of uh, Overlord. Yes, he did. Queen has on Queen has on a uh, red HP, and these two groups of Zealot with the side storm, top of the high high temp, uh, top of the hydra list, killing killing well, trading trading super well. These six forces are really doing great amount of damage, picking up a couple of the overlords and also picking up some of the hydra list with the side storm. And it looks like he's hunting, hunting more overlord. Yes, he's picking up Corsairs, uh, Scourge, and this Corsair is gonna pick up more overlord. Queen does not have any spore. The overlords are not secured. And now, the next is halfway done. Since, since Zalad, uh, since Beast of Zealot uh, did a lot of harassment and traded some of the, some of the Zealot with Hydralisk so now he needs to back off because the the amount of uh, Protoss army is getting smaller and smaller by now so now the couple of the a couple of the photon cannon on the high ground with a couple of the high templates okay two high templates so the two side storm is ready six, six course okay one Corsair died five Corsair is still alive the five Corsair is probably gonna move again he definitely wants to hunt more overlord. He wants to he wants to annoy he wants to annoy Queen. And finally Okay, we can see the creep is spreading. Finally we are seeing the sixth hatchery is being finished, uh, being made, and now the seventh hatchery on the mineral expansion. And now plus one with the armor one. Couple of, uh, couple of High Templars. They're doing the backup behind of the High Temp, uh, behind of the Dragons. Dragons are picking up the Lurkers, and now High Templars are standing behind of the Dragons, and they're waiting for. Uh, they're pretty much baiting. Dragons are baiting uh, Queen to move these Hydralis forward so he can use the Side Storm on the high, high Templars. And now, plus two attack is halfway done on the way. A lot of zealots, and at the same time, we're seeing a lot of lurkers are borrowed. Seven lurkers, but I'm not sure how well, how well Beast is gonna fight against Protoss army here. Queen is trying to fight against this, but these dragoons with high Templar Sky Storm and Observer Micro. They're moving forward and Zelda standing behind. Now since the lurker the number of lurker has gone low, now Beast is moving forward. But accidentally, Beast lost two observer. One one remaining observer is still alive. But the number of a uh, war uh, the number of a uh, army is so big. Plus one a uh, plus two attack is gonna be finished by by uh in in next couple couple minutes. But I don't think Queen will be able to hold this Protoss army. This Protoss army is so huge. These three groups, four groups of army. Zealots are sneaking inside of the Zerg's main base and these Drugan with the High Templars are fighting against the High Temp Hydralisk. And looks like he's waiting for the energy but he does not have the energy but Oh, okay. What is happening? He's actually winning against the Beast's army? Queen is actually holding it. But at the same time, Beast is sending out, sending out more army, and I don't think Queen can hold this army, and th that's gonna be the GG by Queen. Queen taps out, and that was totally a one side, one sided game by Bisu. Bisu played excellent in this game. That twelve Nexus opening against eleven Hatchery. He totally out macroed against Queen. And Queen stayed on a 5 hatchery for a long time. And I think that was a uh, one mistake by Queen. Queen really wanted to wanted to uh, pressure Bisu a lot with his 5 5 hatchery hydralis, but that did not go well. He unfor unfortunately he he let uh he, Queen let Bisu to take this mineral expansion. Also have this amount of a uh, 
a lot of a lot of a lot of dragons ready to fight against the lurkers at the same time and I, I think that two mistakes probably just uh, made this game not great for Zerg and wow he's also he was also warping this uh, fourth base excellent game by Bisu and thank you for watching and if you guys enjoy watching these great games on Starcast TV please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll bring more wonderful games in the future. Thank you guys.